Samsung S24 with Exynos 2400 processor versus Xiaomi 14 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor on the performance side. Let's see which one is better. I am Roman Rarish, this is me. I use AI to produce the voice because it's much simpler for me. I don't speak English very well. Plus it saves me time, so what I say here is put over my clip from the other channel in Romanian, that's why my lips move differently. Thanks for understanding, you've already seen how they works through common applications. You now see on the screen the temperatures before they were tested and the synthetic tests. It's 28.7 degrees Celsius on the S24 versus 29.3 degrees Celsius on the Xiaomi 14 in the hottest spot on the screen. I was surprised that the Exynos 2400 is better and implicitly finished the test to seconds faster. At the start of the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test, it was 33.6 degrees Celsius on the Xiaomi 14 and 35.1 degrees Celsius on the S24, I mean one minute after the end of the Geekbench 6 test, there on the 16th loop. On the Xiaomi 14, I received an overheating notification. It was 50.4 degrees Celsius on this one versus 46.5 degrees Celsius on the S24. However, if we looked at the FPS at that time, on the Xiaomi 14 they were similar to those at the beginning, while on the S24 they dropped by about 40%. But unfortunately, on the 19th loop, Xiaomi 14 shut down the test and all phone functions due to excessive temperatures. I need to mention that the ambient temperature was about 19 degrees Celsius. To have a term of comparison, I ran a simple wildlife extreme test the day before and here the score shows that the Xiaomi 14 is about 5% better. So Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is about 5% more powerful on the GPU side versus Exynos 2400. The stability of S24, so of the Exynos 2400s, is 60%, which is not bad for a top processor. In PubMobile, they work identically. They allow to run the same settings, but also even in the game they work the same, even for a longer period. What I can say shocked me is that the S24 kept all apps in the background with just 8GB of RAM, while the Xiaomi 14 with its 16GB of RAM shut down Geekbench in the background. In the beginning, if you weren't paying attention, I started with 60% battery on the S24 and 65% on the Xiaomi 14, and now at the end I had 41% on the S24 and 47% on the Xiaomi 14. Their batteries drained just as much, considering the fact that the S24 ran nearly two minutes longer on that 3D Mark test. Also here at the end we can see that the S24 is cooler, which was to be expected though given that it didn't reach that high of a temperature. I also have to conclusions in this clip, but first I want you to tell me your opinion down there in the comments. First of all, the Exynos 2400 is a more successful processor than its predecessors and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is more unsuccessful than its predecessor and here I mean from the point of view of stability. Second, I don't think it matters which one you choose, performance-wise. At the same time, the screens, speakers and haptic response are very similar. The main differentiators are the cameras and software optimization. I think you should choose it based on these last two criteria. By the way, there will be a clip on this topic on my channel as well. Have a wonderful day.